I am uh, Sean O'Shea, president uh, and owner of Suit Sports. Um, I've been in the apparel business of, of over 20 years. Um, I did do, go to design school and that's really what got me interested in, um, in the apparel business was design. Um, and so it's really, you know, at, at one point in my life, I decided I really wanted to marry my passion with my work. And that's, that's kind of how I decided to change careers. I was actually in video editing prior to this, but, uh, ended up editing, uh, medical training videos and stuff that I really wasn't passionate about. And, and so did, did kind of a midlife crisis career change, um, about 20 years ago and uh so started started my career over and uh started working at pearl zumi and that's where i really was introduced to triathlon um prior to that i had run a few marathons and and cycled a, a bit but more mountain biking than road cycling so was really introduced at pearl zumi to triathlon bikes and what triathlon is and uh, that's really where my passion started at that company, not only for apparel, um, but also for the sport of triathlon. So I spent um, four years at, at Pearl Zumi and then moved on uh, to work for a much larger company, Under Armour, who at the time was, was small compared to the, where they are now, but much larger um, than Pearl Zumi. And there are, I did uh, focus on the men's apparel running line and so spent a lot of time um, in the running community. But, you know, what's so great about the triathlon community is it is smaller. You do get to know people better. And um, and when you can get to know people better, you forge those relationships, you know, you know with athletes and um, and with the sport, sport better. So um, really fell in love with triathlon and had the opportunity to come over to Zoot uh, to run their apparel division roughly 13 years ago. And that's when I decided, you know, to jump from a, a very large company to a small company um, and to be more involved in, in the triathlon community and triathlon as a sport. Team Zoot is a group of athletes um, of over 4,000 ambassadors that we have around the United States in 10 different regions. Um, these athletes range from sprint distance all the way to, uh, you know, Ironman athletes who qualify for Kona. And so it's really important as a partner in our bike sponsor that they can also address the different athletes that um, are a part of Team Zoot. So someone who's just getting into the sport um, doesn't need a $15,000 race bike. They really, they wanna accomplish a goal. And that's what's so great about a partner like Quintana Roo, who can offer them an opportunity to be a part of the sport. And then if they fall in love with it, there's ways to kind of move up the level to get faster. And so that's why it's just a great partnership with a bike brand like Quintana Roo. I mean, what's cool about sharing an athlete, so Zoot sponsors Matt Hansen and Quintana Roo uh, also sponsors Matt Hansen. And what's, what that does is it allows us to work together as a brand to really, you know, our goal is to make that athlete as fast as possible on the race course at that pro level where this is their career. So everything matters to them. And the way we can do that is that, you know, th there is no silver bullet in you know making someone faster what there is is these marginal gains and so a bike can you know make you faster with little tweaks to it but those tweaks also integrated with you know the the water bottle placement the the aero tri suit if it's two watts here two watts there three watts here all those little additions add up to a big number over an iron distance race. And so at this level that when we're working with an athlete together from an apparel and uh, equipment, you know, bike standpoint, we can really tweak in those fine details and get those athletes, those little gains, you know, that can all add up to a big gain. So in, in terms of focus, we are, so Zoot is, it's a triathlon focused brand, yet we do make 
product for triathletes who who want to do different things. So triathletes swim, they bike, they run. So we make all of those products to get them to that race day outfit. And gravel recently has become part of that training group, you know, that ultimately they're using to get to uh, their, whether it be their race day goal as a triathlon, but, you know, triathletes like to have fun and, and gravel's fun. And sometimes uh, mixing it up is what it really takes to kind of keep your interest and keep your training goals going. And so gravel's been really a great addition to, I think the, you know, the tool belt for triathletes to say, hey, I want to, I really like being on the bike, but I'm scared to be on the roads, maybe for dangerous, depending on where you live. So gravel gets you off those roads. It creates a little bit safer environment to really get in training miles. And then also just have fun. I think that's the, you know, at, at, at the age group level, like the number one goal is really to have fun and gravel really offers that. So, and it'll be cool to see at some point, I do think this gravel and triathlon could, could merge and there could be, you know, kind of ex terra esque you know, merging between uh, triathlon and gravel. So it kind of remains to be seen who can pull together the, the mix of two and really create, a, you know, a fun environment and some fun races uh, that really kind of bring in the best of triathlon and the best of gravel into one place. The beginner sprint, uh, let's start over. Cut.